Howdy, 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 folks. Springstorm here. Today, we're getting right back into it. No bells and whistles, just right into the lummy, yummy. Is it yucky grossness or yummy goodness? This is yummy goodness. This is a bunch of watermelon. Everything's so expensive, even at Publix these days. So I got a big old pot of watermelon in a pot. Big old pan of delicious melony goodness. Look at that. Oh, that's good stuff right there. I been craving the heck out of it for this summer. And we're doing our new series, guys. Just have ketchup! Yep. You never thought you'd see the day when someone put watermelon on ketchup. I've seen people put salt. I mean, I've seen people put all sorts of salt and things. In. But we're going to do this. Got some onions ketchup. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Look at that. I've been accused of doing a lot of things to food to ruin it, especially when I add ketchup. Mm, look at that. We added the ketchup to the, this is like I said, Hunt's ketchup. Yummy freaking, what is it? Is it yummy goodness or yucky grossness? Huh, let's not jump the gun on that. It smells good. I like ketchup. I, I tell you, I like a little food with my ketchup. Like I said before, we did that McFlurry ketchup. McFlurry. Today we're doing a... Hmm. I was getting some watermelon anyway, and I needed some ketchup for the for my job on my lunch break. So I'm like, why not? I got me a little bib. So don't get it all over me. Got me a little forky. All right. Is this a, enough coating? Is that an ample coating of ketchup? First try for me, this guy. I put ketchup, like I said, on pizza, spaghetti, and now uh, McDonald's McFlurry. I've done it on um, ice cream. I mean, put ketchup. Well, I just said that, didn't I? What was it I was thinking? Something I had tried ketchup before. I don't know. I don't remember how it's escaped me because I'm getting old and, you know, obviously. Look at the gray hair. I must be crazy. People say brave, but I, I, I see crazy. That's actually not bad. I would have never, I would have never braved that before in my life. Except for things like this on YouTube. My poor wife is allergic to catch up. So, we got to be careful. It's not my first choice. I'd much rather get some cold, cold watermelon. Little sprinkles of salt. That salt just kicks that flavor up. Now, there's a lot of sodium and acidity and vinegariness to catch up. So, that flavor is definitely, woo, wangy. Tangy, all sorts of yangy, whatever you want to call it. But I don't hate it. I mean, would I grab my favorite condiment, ketchup, when I'm eating some watermelon? Probably not. Mmm. That was good. I think it's just the sweetness and the yumminess of the watermelon just overrides any potential you know this whole odyssey of just add ketchup on things just take an ordinary foods like a strawberry shortcake mcflurry like we did previously at mcdonald's putting ketchup in it trying it because it's something you might not try before might never try again why not probably a good reason some people probably like ketchup more than me to the extent that they're obsessed with it and that's all they ever eat I'm not quite that far gone yet but some might argue to the contrary when they see me trying watermelon and ketchup. But it's not too bad. I have to say, it's not too bad. If you're curious, you should definitely give it a try. If you're obviously not curious about this, then you got your fill of me trying it right here for you. Because that's what I'm here for, guys. <coughs> to try these weird things. Excuse me. That one went down the wrong pipe there. People say that wrong pipe, but there's only one pipe in there. It's a down pipe. 
nut pipe, whatever pipe. Well, surprisingly, surprisingly, it's not bad. Ah, mustard. I think I've seen people put mustard on watermelon before. I should have got some. Because that would have been an interesting contrast. Because there's definitely a more bitter taste mustard. I'm not a huge mustard fan, to be honest with you. I like a good mustard and ketchup sandwich. Mustard and ketchup on a hot dog or a ham sandwich. Whew, some might say I'm like crazy to even keep going on with this. But it's not bad. I have to say, guys. So, if you like this little crazy, funky food fusion that I've shared with y'all, I've already referenced this, and if you had not seen it already, you should go check that video out up there, guys, where I tried the, more recently, the Strawberry Shortcake McFlurry Just Added Ketchup from McDonald's. That was an interesting ice cream, vanilla soft serve ice cream, short Strawberry Shortcake flavoring, Just Add Ketchup. <coughs> my body might be rejecting it i don't know but i'm not objecting to it it was not bad now would i eat ketchup on everything anything that remains to be seen but i definitely did not hate on this watermelon because watermelon's good it's my favorite fruit to begin with especially during the summer heat way to beat the heat is to get some watermelon so if you're curious Give it a try. If you're curious about the strawberry shortcake experience that I had with the ketchup, check out that video up there, guys. Click on it now. I won't mind if you go ahead. Click on that strawberry shortcake McFlurry ketchup McFlurry. And oddly enough, I've seen some other YouTubers doing it this past week when I tried it. The same week that I tried it. So y'all go check that out, guys. And go and just, just Google the hashtag or just Google the phrase McFlurry, ketchup McFlurry. Oddly enough, people started doing this. I doubt it's because of me, though. <laughs> Go check it out. God bless y'all. See you soon. Ooh, it's getting rainy.